So this is just an update video on the tiny home build. Uh, this is it's 11 by 32 and uh, it's not off grid by any means it's wired for standard article and um, wood heated and electric heat is sort of a backup so <clears throat> this is the status as of the first week of November the uh, this entry door I just walk through here this entry door all the doors and windows are uh, second hand all recycled from previous lives and uh, so the 2x6 walls, 2x6 rafters, 2x6 joists, the, uh, let's just step outside here. I built the subframe. This is 12 inch structural steel channel and it's uh, 32 feet long by 8 feet wide and these three inch channels go transversely and then there's a longitudinal center one and this is uh, OSB with styrofoam on the inside for insulation and the channel is insulated with styrofoam on the inside as well and then there's a, a 17 and a half inch overhang This sits on a on a wheeled uh, chassis that can be rolled underneath it, and this can be moved. Probably in about four or five hours, you could have it jacked up on one end, back the chassis under, and and move it. So all the windows were uh, recycled from previous. Chassis. I found them on you know Kijiji. So there's a uh, a door on this end. This was a uh, another Kijiji find around the back here. There's only one window. This is the north side. So where this window here is on the back side, I have the, the window to go in there. I just haven't got it in yet. Is a uh, That's where the kitchen sink will be. So this is the north wall. And there's nothing really to see here. This is the, the pine bush. So. so that's the exterior, basically. Go back on the inside, and I'll sort of run you through the, the, the general layout, how the floor is going to be, the floor plan. So you walk in the door, and this area here, immediate to, to right, behind the door, there's going to be a small, just where the overhang, on top of the overhang, there will be a small utility closet, you know, five feet high, basically, three and a half feet deep, just for storage, long term storage, you know, mops, buckets, pails, brooms, this is that, you know, utility stuff. Where this well is, where these insulation bats are sitting, there's going to be a 450 gallon fresh water tank. Immediately after it, there's going to be a miniature, like a small pressure pump and pressure tank right here. And this will all be enclosed in a cabinet. So basically and then there will be about a uh, three, three and a half foot part at the end where there will be a toilet and the toilet will go right out there at the bottom and into there's a uh, septic tank just outside we buried. So the toilet will be in the corner where that insulation bundle is right there Immediately beside it will be the tub. Immediately beside that will be the bathroom sink. And there will be a small uh, small partition wall coming out about 36 inches from the main wall. Then there will be the refrigerator for the, uh, the place. The refrigerator will be right there. And then from there on down, it will be about approximately... 
depending on what sort of a used piece of countertop I can scrounge, <laughs> there will be approximately 8 to 10 feet of countertop. I'm hoping to find a 10 foot chunk, you know, scratch and dent sale stuff. Uh, with base cabinets underneath it, just all scratch, stick built, just from wood. Be shelving above for food and dishes, but uh, I really don't store a lot of food ahead. I'm a, primarily a meat eater, so the deep freezer will be is mainly my. I just bring food out of the freezer, stick it in the fridge to defrost, and eat it. So, but you know, coffee, tea. Uh, mostly plates, lots of pans. Anyways, on the wall here. Then the kitchen sink will be here, obviously, by the uh, by the window. Over here, just inside the door, there will be an area here about three and a half to four feet, where there will be place to hang coats, place to put your boots, and then the the cook stove will be right here where this light is sitting extremely bright. So the so let me get further back here. I'm walking on the joists. The wood stove will be right where the light is and the pipe obviously going out the chimney hole there. The just in front uh, or just to the beside of the window the will be the uh, dining table. And then there'll be a small sitting area here just by this window. You know, so you have nat lots of natural. This is south facing. These windows are south facing. So it's really, this is, you know, it's getting late at night in November. So things are kind of dim in here. That's why I have the lights on. But when the sun is out, it's just flooded with light in here. So uh, there will have a chair there. You know, I sit and, and I read or whatever. And then there'll be a sleeping area in the corner. And that door is just for an emergency exit. That window beside it opens up and it has a screen that can be put in there. So in the summertime, it's on the west, so a fair little breeze will come in that uh, window. It's a basically a floor-to-ceiling window, 14 inches wide. And then this window here cranks open. This is a fixed window. And then the window over the sink will open fully. So, stepping back across to the other side, this from that roll spool of wire, where that spool of wire is, that'll be the end of the countertop. And then there will be floor to ceiling shelving all the way to the end for storage, mostly, you know, books. There'll be a freestanding bookshelf here. I have a freestanding bookshelf that'll go between the, the edge of that window over to, you know, it's about three feet wide, and then it'll be built in, essentially built in storage shelves, floor to ceiling from there on over. So that's, that's basic look at 11 by 32, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's rough, I'm just finishing the walls in uh, construction grade plywood. I can't afford to do anything too fancy here. And I'm not I'm not a la -di da person. I'm really kind of just functional is good. So just uh, 3 8 sheathing grade plywood on the walls. I think it looks alright for now. In the future if I want to you know, win the lottery. If I ever start buying tickets, then I'll maybe do fancy. But right now, I'm just going to leave it plain wood. And uh, the flooring, I was given some hardwood flooring that was left over from a job. I got enough f hardwood flooring to do the sleeping and the living area. And then I was able to pick up enough uh, vinyl composite tile to do the entire rest of the, like the kitchen and bath area and the entryway in uh, vinyl composite tile. So I was really fortunate there was a store closing and they had, it was the color nobody wanted, so it's the color I got. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. And it's actually, it's a nice, like, I like, kind of like it. It's kind of like a black granity color, Armstrong commercial grade tile. So 
that's going to be going in the kitchen and the bath area. And I was able to scavenge used vintage appliances. I have to buy a new toilet because I don't believe in scavenging used vintage toilets. But the kitchen sink is cast iron, double bowled, really heavy. The bathroom sink is a cast iron, enameled. They essentially match the kitchen and the bathroom sink. The tub is a, is a claw foot cast iron tub. And I'll just buy a toilet that's, you know, plain white, just plain old toilet. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll do another update as I get more done. But this is the update as of the first week of November. And it's not fancy, and it could have been a lot better. And if I had more time and more money to work on things, but I have uh, more than one full time job, and uh, this has been just a. Uh, uh, a back burner project trying to do it in the front burner speed and it's just difficult so my dad was helping me today which was a big help and I was able to get things done in a fair bit so sign off for now